Hello everyone, welcome to another modern video. I know Breach is not very, I know Fair Breach is not very much beloved. My my Fair Breach videos always do poorly. Although I really have, uh, I really think that uh, this deck has a lot of power in modern right now. It's just unexplored. I'm trying this or Orkish Bowmaster Splash, which I think is very much needed. I wouldn't splash other things like Thoughtseize or Soren's Ransom, but just Orkish Bowmasters. I'm also trying out Laura Revealed in the Considers slash Slice of Hand slot. I think Laura Revealed is a card that can fit a deck with uh, um, Delirium uh, Purposes, like an only Heat, as well as a deck that can Flood. This is basically your Giganta against uh, Scam that also happens to uh, yes, help you hitting land drops. You can discard it to Shredder to grow it and etc. Uh, Shredder is um, worse now in a world of Bowmasters, but I still think that this deck has 12 removals but for Bowmaster, as well as Stern Scolding and Spells Nair to counter it, so I think we should be fine. And um, yeah, that's that's basically it. I, think I added a second island for the reveal. Again, no Gigant in the side. I can't play Blood Moons, I'm playing a Pine Moon. Uh, I still respect Creativity since we don't play Counter Spell. And I still respect uh, Leaving Gans, this is a, uh, you know, one of the most unfair decks in the format, and if you don't have proper cyber, you're gonna lose to it, so... And I think this deck... I've tried it one league only, it's for Channel Fireball, it's already been uh, posted, uh, so you can find it already. And, um, and, yeah, that deck went very well, I think. Let's begin, on the draw. Of course, Ragavine and Channel on the draw are tough, but we'll see. The reveal does not trigger surveil. It doesn't. That's exactly what it does. Not <laughs> do. It's okay. This deck's flood. Like also, the reveal is a new card. My video try new cards. Slippery boggle. Oh, I know what that deck is. That is the deck from uh, Sifty Sock. C the crazy deck brewer. He has like Vadrock mutation. It's like a Vadrock mutation deck. Can't even explain exactly. <laughs> I think I'm gonna dash Ragavan here. It's a deck I've seen in the 5 0 deck dump. But you read the deck list, you have no idea what's happening. They took the trade, I did not expect that. You can find the Rixis Bridge video on Channel Fireball, YouTube channel. Okay. Um, they went Iteration Taplin Go, draw, and played a new Boggle. It's definitely not nice. I'll go DRC and pass. Keeping up a bunch of these, if nothing really happens, I just bolt your face to to mutate on. I can't spell near because the car costs three. They're gonna return expressive iteration to their hand. That's a two or three now, still got X proof. They chose the, the bigger part, of course. So if they attack, they don't. I'm gonna go blood crypt. And bolt your face. Let's go. I'll play Duration to go to the room. I like this. I'll leave it on top. Okay. I can go hand, bottom, exile, play land. I'll go to combat and I think I want to play DRC. I think I need to put up a clock and DRC does that. I'll go mountain DRC.
I have spells in the air for an iteration. Bunch of situation on one mana counter spell here. I think I'll spell Pierce this because this one gets Badrock, and then my opponent can go off with Badrock. I think they don't have it right now, so I'm fine and just let him have a uh, iteration next turn. Badrock is a 3 3, so I can't uh, turn Skull in it. For those of you who don't know what Badrock is, uh, see if I have it. It's this. Run uh, 3 3, mutate, you cast a spell from your graveyard that costs 3. There's definitely a world where they go infinite with, like, I believe, 2 Vadrok, and they have the 2 and a red, uh, get 2 mana, and then they get the Hemoflage, and then they kill you. I believe that's the. That's the lethal line they have, but it's a very convoluted and long one. So I hope that with my interactive deck I get to make so that they don't uh, succeed. So yeah, this is the bad rock. And the other card is called, I believe, Open Something. Open the something. Open the Omium Pa, or open some, what does it open? Echo. Open the Omen Path. Yeah, two red mana and two red mana. You only spend this to cast Creature Enchantments. That's the combo. Our right, opponent went. Okay, so they put Vadok in their hand. Hmm. And then draw. Yes, there will be more content for me on Car Market channel. Uh, I booked a flight for them on the uh, beginning of September, so yeah, you'll you'll see videos of that regard in the next um, months. They got a four. So I believe they can go Vadrock now, which I can't mutate, of course. Sorry, I can't counter, of course. And then they play a spell, which I can't spell Snare. I might be dead now. If you change your Lord Dracus. If I was oh they got a damn recall and Oh actually they return. So they cast Omen the Omen path open the Omen path, but they return the uh damn recall. Because yeah, I think in theory, they have lethal. In practice, I can't really let them recall, but in theory, they would have, they would have had lethal if I didn't have the spells in the air. Because they just get another Vadrock and then they go infinite. I believe. Oh, they do have another Vadrock. I think they do have infinite then. But we'll see. Is that going to get a lot of views? Not from me, though. I don't know. I feel like. People that watch my content, I don't know, maybe maybe it's true, but I noticed that whenever I play, whatever, um, like, okay, so they're casting this, and I, I believe I spells them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not Spike or... Um, I don't know. Out of content creator that are known for playing new decks. People just want to see like Merc deck scam and for real, I'm not joking. They want to see the best deck from me. Like, 
whenever I titled something the best deck, it always gets a lot of views. Yeah, I fortunately I don't have a counter spell, so this is the result. If I had a count if I had an actual counter spell, yeah, they had the sensible and the flash. And now they I think they I think they loop now, but we'll see. They drain me for four and they return their things. It's funny you say that, Keldic. Keldic says, you like Spike for fun, you like me for pro play. Spike is the one qualified for the pro tour, I'm not. So I believe that uh, you should also watch Spike for the pro play. He's a crazy brewer and everything, but... He's also an extremely talented player that hopefully is going to do great at the PT. So I believe they deal me 10 with this amouflage now. No, Eric. I can't. And they get a creature extra. They're just gonna mutate this and drain me for uh, the the last amount of damage with insatiable camouflage. Uh, now, definitely want the Tormod script and the dress downs. Uh, do I cut an holy heat? Shredder also probably bad actually. Let me just do a split. Uh, my opponent had a camouflage on his deck. Despota! Welcome for the fourth month. You like explosives for boggles? I guess. Well, I think Orkish is a bigger problem than the ring. The only problem with the ring is that it's expensive. That's it. No other problems. Is also Orc has the same problem? Maybe. But there's no other problem. You see a lot of decks playing Roller Reveal over Fetchland. What do you think about it? Well, I'm doing it mostly because also other people are doing it. So I'm just trying it out. Uh... There's a world where you cast this card and it's better than a, than a land. Insatiable Hemoflage. Do I want to mutate over a Ragavan? Can I do that actually? Yeah. I think it's fun enough that I should do it, probably, right? No, I can't. Ah. Ah. I can't. Let's get from hand. I guess. Uh, all right. Uh, go ahead. I think Shoulder Dedix is playable in modern. Yeah, I guess it's playable for sure. You can limit it from hand. Yeah, probably can limit it from hand. It's not written on the card, but I guess it's on the keyword. Silva Karyatid. It's basically a boggle. Also blocks my Ragavan. Uh, untap. Why not draw in the locks? Uh, I never really like that card. Oh, uh, I like this card here. I want to cycle this Lord Revealed because I could cast it next turn. I think I don't want to cycle it. 
I have multiple copies of uh, uh, the insatiable camouflage. The audio is a bit tiny. Could be. I think that it's better like this, though. I also like to bolt your face now. I might regret it. Looks like we're connected here. Nice. And I think I'm casting this. Go. Do you also guys think that my audio is low? Or uh, it's just uh, Ruby? Okay, the play Carrot did. Probably going to explosives it away. Because my opponent really needs a creatures to put their music cards on. Yeah, probably when I have a higher volume is that there's like some noise filtering for the air conditioning that just makes the the scream look bad. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, explosives away the the current. Did. Oh, same owner. Wow, I didn't know that. So you have to. You can only mutate to the same owner. Wow, that's cool. Um. Well, what I was doing here? Yeah, explosives for two crockett. Another camouflage. Now I exile two camouflage. It's possible that they lose the game now. Because they'd have no win condition. Outside of me having breach, bolt, bolt the next turn. Okay, to ramp up a mana here. What else? Five. What else do you do? They cast Lord Drakis. And they pass. Some mistakes were made. Of a breach. A bolt. This. Oh, actually, I'm not lethal. Oh, yes, I am. Uh -huh, that's funny. I'm lethal in a very funny way. By playing a Ragavan and having the the last card in the graveyard. All right. Does anyone we cast the lore revealed? I think it's more likely that there's a world where, uh, actually, Orc is good against the fairy. Let's the orc. Yeah, the, the Ragavan did so much for me this game, and at the end it sacrificed too. Imagine the work that the, this monk had put. Am I trying to convince my friends to play this deck at a PT? I've tried, but I did not succeed. I think this deck has a lot of potential. I would actually love to go to the PT, 
and play this deck. Obviously, I would be testing it a lot, and maybe I wouldn't play it. But this feels... I mean, not, this lore reveal has been, just been added today. Like, the whole thing I just love to do, to play a blue-red deck. I played Rakdos Camp for a weekend. I felt like I lost all my magic power. Yeah, this is the mutate opponent. They won game one, lost game two. And now game three, I kept this bet in. But it has to almost crypt, which I feel like stops the combo and we have expressive iteration. So. Not yet. What did I do? Carrioted here? They go carrioted. Oh, then we call main phase. All right. Let's do it a grab. Bad luck. Okay. It's gonna be tough this game. It's gonna be very tough this game. When's the PT? The PT is um uh not this Sunday, not this Friday, the next one. But it's not Boggles, they're playing Mutate. Boggles is indeed not alive. Time to cut a land. Yeah, could be time to cut a land here. This is uh, indeed a lot of lands. Uh... Uh, Rondre, adios. Remember to be nice if you come to a Twitch streamer because yeah, you don't have to write anything. Okay. Now the question is, do we want to exile the Adam Recall? I think I do. I'll go for DRC, dress down, surveil, we got delirium, okay that's good, it's cost three, so next turn we can kill both this and Teferi. And uh, I'll do that in my opponent's turn. Oh, 
Okay. Let's see what they have now. Forest. Slippery Boggle. Did I leave uh, my orcs? Yep. Alright then, let's go iteration. Okay. I think I'd like to go just shuffle away the Lord Revealed and go for Shredder. Shredder. Bo Shredder. Definitely Shredder. Then I want to go for Bobble. And then Bobble myself. When is playing a weird deck. Stern Skull in the middle of my deck. That card counters very few things, but I feel like it's better than a card than a random card. Yeah, I think so. Maybe not though. Maybe it's not better than a random card. Like, it's good against Lord Dracus. I wonder, uh, chat, what happens if I put a Mutate and I, and I play Dress Down in response? Does it stop the Mutate trigger? Does anybody know that answer? Into Hands. Alright, actually, I will not need it because I'll play into uh, Dress Down now. I don't need the answer. Right. They play duration. It will stop the A to B, but you get the creature fused. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's what I assumed. So the creature is still fused, still uh, mutated, but you don't get the A to B triggers of like Lua Dracus. I want to use Dress Down to kill the Slippery Ball, but with like an Orc. I got a 7. I need to grow this Shredder to block the Endurance. Actually, I want to I want to fetch basic land first. I think. I guess I can fetch it afterwards. Now nah, let's fetch it first. Okay. Uh, let's play bubble. Drugs card. Um, I think I actually need to discard. I wanted to draw a spell. I guess that was too much to ask. Because I need to make the Shredder a 2 4 to block the endurance. I think I have to discard this orc. You have a Lord Dracus on top. I get you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe you shuffle. Do I want to go for Breach and draw a bunch of cards? I guess I have to go Breach, uh, Total Script. And draw a bunch of cards. Uh, do I actually? I need to trash your because I needed uh, Shredder to block and do hands. Could crack the Tormod script now so that I could uh, flash back another bubble. Maybe that makes sense. Oh, I can also replay the Tormod script. Yeah, maybe that's better than replaying another bubble. 
Yeah. I needed 2 4 to block the endurance. I'm at 6 life. I pass and draw a couple of cards. I still respect my opponent's ability to win with a combo rather than their ability to uh, kill my creatures and removal spell deck. Remember, my deck is like only. Mm, that's annoying. I got a 2 life now. My deck is like mostly spells. I think I'll be able to deal with their creatures. Maybe not. I hope so. What's happening? Oh wow. I died to the Omen the Omen open the Omen Path ability. Oh great. Um Still fine though, right? Yeah, there was no yeah, I can't keep up the orc. I need to put Omen script, otherwise I might die. Yeah, Lord Drac is on top. That's okay, we got very unlucky and we showed our we showed my opponent deck. I guess that's cool. The card is more text. Yeah. I didn't want to uh, kill the Shredder that way, though. If I double block, I, I lose the Shredder. Let's begin. Mm, I think it was very unlikely for me to die in that way, but I also didn't know the open the Omen Path had that text. They needed Teferi, which they must have drunk, because otherwise I would have played it last turn. That's okay, we lost. I don't think I could have seen it coming, honestly. Okay, playing against Cam. I wish I was on the play for the stern scolding on the grief. Could be that we play too many lands, for sure. You want me to splash the fairy as well? Sure, you can splash the fairy as well. Lore revealed uh, can help you splashing. It's not the biggest fan of the fairy splash. Wow, they choose spell peers. It's crazy. What do they have that so they chose spell peers and not iteration? I'll fetch up the uh, watery grave here so that if I draw orc, I can cast it. Let's pull the grief, and now I'm gonna put a nose in my hand, and they were just kind of staring at each other. Okay, bridge is good, but obviously we need a uh, either bubble or uh, just land. So it's like Leo, Leo, son. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I think I'm going to hold the Polluted Delta there. 
I don't exactly know what land to get. And also, I don't mind drawing extra lands. Next turn, I, I could go, in theory, Breach, Expressive Iteration. Maybe we find Bobble, I can cast two Bobbles. I think it's alright. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Worst case scenario, I just played a breach. I just use breach for expressive iteration. I think it's alright. Except like they conceded. Yeah, as always, no agency over this game. Literally, a bot could have played this game. That's a that's a typical experience playing against scam. No decisions at any point for either players. Let's go. Swamp. It's a weird swamp. Where is even the swamp? I guess it's black. The picture is black, so it's a swamp in the world of magic. Alright, so this can be again Grief Beach Fain Death. Sorry, Grief Beach Grief. And let's go. Dash Ragnar would be bad. Because I can't spell near that one. Alright, my opponent goes blood blood Saint Meyer attack. Can I spell near a kick to rack? I think so, yeah. The the mana cost is the top top right. She don't really care about the top right. Okay, or Kishbow Masters. Uh do I like it? I think so. Opponent can go spyro easily next turn. And the orb would be insane there. All right, it would be good. Yes. They also go bloodman. I guess I'll fuck it up if they do. They don't do anything. Do I want to play the orc? I don't think so. I'll pass it back. Next turn, I can go Orc to try and kill the Grief with spells near back to protect the Orc. Because that could have had their own Orc. I don't have protection against another Fain Death, though. That would be bad. But I think I have to try, because otherwise I lose if, I don't, if, if the game goes too long here. I think I just have protection against uh, their Orc, and that's it.
Let's see how it goes. Let's see. They let me block. All right. Do they play Orc or do they play Evoke? Effect. Evoke effect. I'm going to discard another card. They two for one me again. One of the very few rare cases where the orc is actually gets two for one back. Bolt. No bolt. A Giganta could have returned it now. They have Lurian Reveals instead. Although they like they like grieved my Lurian Reveals, so that's kind of a win. I got a six, fashion of storm five. I think this near are holding back something. I don't know, maybe not, but I think so. Bold. I guess I'll hold this fetch line because I'm going to one. I'll hold this for uh, Shredder loot if the game goes longer. I go to one. Nothing. I'm not dead. I won't surrender. What can my opponent in hand to be? Two, two drops, two lands? I guess I could be that. Red. Oh, I'm a, I'm finally dead. Good. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, third game. Let's see if my player will scam me on turn one again. On the play. We have a two landers. And a turn one Ragavan. <laughs> Alright, put it with the ley line in opening end. So our graveyard doesn't matter anymore now. They have the lane of the void. We have Shredder to get rid of Breach. We have Orcs and Ragavan to attack. I scam Fury this time on turn one. That's an all right mod against the six. Very hard to kill Fury with uh, Anoli Heat. Very hard. Without laying out the wood. Especially with this hand, this hand does not have uh, very many tools. I grab a um, steam vents and play a rag on here. I don't have black mana to cast their to cast the orc if I draw it. But also, this way, my point is actually under 10, I can maybe connect the Ragavan. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, but 10. Let's see if I find Terminator from their deck. Would be nice. So I Spyro from their deck. I hit the Ragavan. Hmm. I think I like to go Iteration Shredder. Hopefully. Okay, Iteration Breach is alright. That's our channel is alright. As a chump blocker. Go. Spyro. And then I'll chump block. I can also hit Fury, right? I can, can I cast Fury? With the evoke cost, I believe so. Off rather than now they have a blocker. Okay. What do I want to do now? Um. I'm just gonna go and for some because I need to trade with I need to tr trade with Spyro. Do I trade now with Spyro? No, because if they take it, I'm dead on board. I guess I could play Shredder. I want to use Shredder to uh draw this card next turn. So I'm gonna chum block now. Go down to eight. When it is in damage step, I should pass to main phase two. All right. Yeah, I think now it gets worse. Maybe I could, since I could afford to play Fury in this sideboard, I should play Fury in this sideboard. Before I was playing Giganta, I know they gave up on it. I should probably play Fury in this sideboard. It's like the only card I could, that could save me here. Alright, GG. Starting Rock with a 0-2, I'll keep on playing for the video, but I felt like this... Yeah, definitely some, some, some rough... Some rough games. Good morning, Melatino. Round three against Kozan. Vamos. My camera opponent scabbed me three times on turn one. That is that is very hard. That is very hard to beat. Definitely got the The good draws part of the deck. Managed to win game one thanks to top decking both at the right time after the the, the grief was canned. And they also stopped at one lane. Alright, let's see if they have an answer to this Ragavan. They do. You can't cast both masters. If we're just playing Merc Tide, I'm very happy to have Bowmasters in hand. No, I can't cast it. Happy to play Bowmasters end of turn. We can fight counter spell, and then even if they kill my bow masters, I'm alright with that. Just don't expect really, right? Here, bow masters. 
from a simple polluted delta. I go counter spell, I go spell pierce. I'm holding the snares. Snares is extremely good against uh, Merc died because uh, express iteration and shredder. I guess shredder is no more damage played, but I think still like spell pierce is just worse. The spell pierce on turn four is just worse than spell snare, I think. Like Merc, uh, express iteration counter spell shredder. So many relevant two drops. Uh, I could be drawing a card, I guess I can wait. I'll hold this back in case of a uh, dash dragon. Merc die can still be a problem for this deck. Merc the region, the card. Because the only way I have to kill it is like double burn. Or in this case, single burn with an unholy heat. Okay. I dash Ragavan for sure and attack with it. I guess I didn't need to shock there. Wish I had a spell pierce instead of a spell snare. Yeah, I just keep on getting punished with the situational cards. <laughs> it's kind of what happens when you play situational cards. I haven't tried the blue black deck. I'll, I'll play next uh, next day. Uh, I'll play tomorrow. Okay, that's very good. Yeah, both right now. Scold against Nair. Ooh, first negation. This feels really bad. This feels extremely bad to the point that I feel like I should just drop the league. If I lose to Merc Dive with this deck, it's really like over because the reason why I built this deck was honestly just to prey on the blue decks. With like a mirror match, but with a mirror breaker. Turns out that Merc Dive Regent is the mirror breaker. That's okay. This is why building new decks is so hard in Magic. So you build new decks, or rather, you make changes to old decks that work, you put new cards. And most of the time they're just bad. So you know, taking taking good old uh, good old decks that just win modern challenges is much safer for um, for video content like this. Alright, let's begin this second game. Keep I think I'm okay just topping this land and playing another DRC. My opponent shouldn't be able to punish me that much for doing this. By the way, the lesson to learn for the previous game is that if you have two snare, one pierce, you should use snare because there's a chance where card just dies in your hand. And you don't want to have two off of a card Situational card that might die in your hand. You want to split the situational cards.
Mercy Bubble. Pass. Draw. Hmm, do I want to go bold? It's probably right to go bold here. Just fixing the draw. All right. Does the draw need to be fixed? Probably not. Nothing better than express iteration on empty end. No one knows about it though. Weird, because they probably should have bubbled themselves, right? Because they're just calling tar. Maybe it was fine to graveyard it just because of the Lyrian. Yeah. What? She's not exposed against me? And it worked great. Must be nice. All right. Could be a game for Lauren Reveal. I want to go land the iteration here. I think so. Okay, perfect. I like Mishra's bubble now. Because that means I can um, play a spell off the iteration. Okay. Attack you for six. Slight of end. Yeah. In my last uh, Greg's, Shadow, Greg's Breach video, I also had Slight of end. Over consider. Pretty orc. Bubble draw bubble. I think I will crack this eyelet. Yeah, I want to draw Breach. Yeah, drawing Breach would be very nice. I can go DRC from the graveyard after to kill it, and then just a couple of bubbles, maybe. Okay. Okay. No, not of that. And I don't have the. I don't have the Gigantha now. I have iteration. It's okay. I think I dropped from the league. Uh, failed the experiment. The deck was not good. Um, the whole uh. Cut Merc Pie for Breach, I think just is not right. I probably showed it to me very easily, game one. Where they had um where they had breach. Sorry when they had Merc Tide and I just died. But yeah, I think my my videos are also that sometimes. I just try new things and I failed with them. So I hope you uh, didn't mind uh, watching a little bit of mango failing and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching as always like subscribe if you want to see more of content like this